I'm sure you must have a lot of questions and am not too great at starting conversations, so ask away. Hi. Hello. You must have a lot of questions. Who are you? I am the guide and PC from the servable game Terraria. What should I do? You should explore the underground. How do I explore the underground? You can explore the underground by digging through dirt and stone with your pickets. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Good, bud. So I somehow got access to OpenAI's GPT-3 a few weeks back, and if you don't know what GPT-3 is, it basically takes prompts and text and generates more text from what it is given using deep learning. It can be used to make chatbots, question and answer bots, and even convert movie titles to emojis. While transformers like these may not be fully there just yet, in the future they could replace writers and even script dialogue and actions in video games. Combined with other technologies such as text-to-speech, it's possible to simulate and script humans and other characters. And with such powerful tools in my hands, I decided to remake the guide NPC from Terraria, but actually kind of useful. Oh, and also with RTX on. I don't actually have much to any prior experience with game dev, so I just use Unreal Engine 4.26 Blueprints. With Epic Games' MetaHuman Creator currently in early access, it was easy enough to create a human that looks close enough to the guide and export it to Unreal Engine using Quixel Bridge. After the creator of Terraria, I named it Andrew. The clothes selection was pretty limited, but since the guide only wears a green shirt and jeans, it, it still ended up looking pretty good. After following some online tutorials, I figured out how to retarget animations onto Andrew. I downloaded an idle and walking animation from Mixamo, and was able to create an animation blueprint, along with a simple event to make Andrew roam in random directions every couple of seconds. When the player character is close enough, it can start a conversation with Andrew by pressing E. To create speech from text, I used one of Replica Studios' AI voice actors. The free VA REST plugin for Unreal Engine, I was able to make Replica API calls for authentication and then generate audio programmatically with inputted text. I'll be leaving blueprints for this and a lot of the other stuff in the description if you want to check them out. Once dialogue with the NPC is initiated, Replica is used to generate the first welcoming voice line. With this method, the only major downside is really just the delay in generating audio, which can be a few seconds. To play the voice lines, I used a media player, which opens the URL with the wave audio returned from Replica. After the NPC greeting, we had to some of the more interesting stuff. To get input from the player, I tried to use speech recognition or speech to text. When you press the enter key, microphone audio is captured until you release it. This audio is then transcribed using Google's speech API. A Google speech kit plugin I found on the marketplace makes this process a ton easier, as it does everything for you once you provide an API key. User input now converted to text is then used as a prompt for GPT-3. If you had another plugin, a free GPT-3 one this time, everything can continue to be done with blueprints, and all you have to do is provide an OpenAI API key. In the GPT-3 settings, you can specify a start sequence, where you can provide some background information on your NPC. In my case, Andrew is meant to be a character who can answer questions that new players have, so I provided some sample questions and answers to GPT-3. There are quite a few other settings you can play around with as well to get dialogue that you like. I also relied a lot on stop sequences. Stop sequences force GBD3 to stop generating text once they are generated. For example, if you don't want the generated text to stop midway in a sentence, you can use a period as a stop sequence. The response, procedurally generated with GBD3, is then fed to Replica to synthesize speech for it. I may have forgotten to mention it earlier, but with Replica you can specify a voice actor, with more than 40 to choose from, as well as quality, bitrate, and sample rate of the speech. Once you have everything up and running, you can have nearly endless conversations with characters in game, in your game. Although with like three different paid services, try not to make them endless. Again, a lot of helpful blueprints and links can be found in the video description. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, bye.